Welcome to this two minute tutorial from biggerplate.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to get started creating your first mind map using iMindMap. So let's begin. When we launch iMindMap, we're met with this landing screen, which gives us several helpful resources to help us get started. But for now, we're going to jump straight into creating our first map by clicking the New Mind Map button. The first thing we have to do is select a central image for our map. You might like to choose an image from the selection that matches the topic you are mapping. Since this is a tutorial, we'll choose this image. Remember, you can always change the image later, so don't worry too much at this stage. Next, let's give our mind map a title. And we do this by selecting the central idea and simply typing our title. We're going to call this mind map SWOT Analysis. Once we are ready to start building out the branches of our map, we hover over the central topic and see this target icon. If we click and hold the central part and drag our mouse outwards, you can see our first branch taking shape. To add text to this line, simply start typing. As the first branch on our SWOT analysis map, this topic is labelled Strengths. If we return to our central topic, we can repeat the process again to create a second branch, which we will label Weaknesses. Using exactly the same simple process, we can create the final two branches of our SWOT analysis map, which cover opportunities and threats. Now we're ready to build out another layer of information on our map, and we'll once again be using the same simple technique. Start by clicking our strengths topic. We can use the new branch option in red to draw a new branch outwards. We'll type customer service as one of our strong points. Then, repeating the process again to add office location as a second strength. Moving to our weakness branch, we might add staffing as one of our weaknesses. And then building further by drawing new branches to add further detail about our staffing weaknesses. In this example, perhaps we are missing key personnel, or maybe we have a lack of new talent within the business. As you can see, Using just one simple function within iMindMap, we have started to build out the detail of our SWOT analysis map and can continue with the remaining topics as you see fit. It's as easy as that. That's all for this tutorial, but don't forget you can view more iMindMap videos, templates and examples by visiting biggerplate.com.